Carver all the way around, doesn't he? Let off the throttle, takes over second. Down the back straightaway, Chad Coast, Jeffrey Carver. Here comes the 67, that's Davis Fisher now in the third position. In the tournament, three they go. All the way up the racetrack goes Chad Coast, and here comes the wizard. Jeffrey Carver goes out front. Fisher trying to take over the two spot, doesn't quite have Everybody gets around him. Check this out. Also, Jared Meese, tail end of the field. So tough break for 82. Higgins, his night is done. Down the back straightaway, it's Carver. Fisher in second, Chad Coast third. We got Henry Wiles in the fourth spot. He's got the bright red helmet on. Possibly, you know, the rider's going all the way up the racetrack. No, it's the 54 Mikey Russell. Right Rush now in the fourth spot with the bright red helmet. I thought that was Wiles. Wiles wearing the black lid here today. Wiles now in fifth spot. Three wide for six, seventh, and eighth, ladies and gentlemen. Down the back straight where they go and get everything sorted out. Meese is not moving up as fast as I thought he would. Remember also, Bronson Bauman came to the head of the class at the very end of his la uh, last chance ball bar to make it into the semi. He's trying to come with Meese. right there in a solid fourth. The win Michigan rider, Henry Wallace, goes up to the top side of the racetrack. One rider off the pace, one rider out of the way, out to turn number two. His day is done. Somebody slows off of turn number two. I believe that is Ryan Barnes. He has got mechanical gremlins for sure for a second week in a row. There's your leader back around his car. Dustin Crow right behind Rush and Wiles. Now we got Meese all the way up to seventh now from the back of the pack. Jared Meese has moved up to seventh, Justin Jones is eighth, and right now it's Bronson Bauman, the man on the bubble. The 37 is in our final transfer. Halfway flight trial, five down, five to go. Seven six six. So the track was prime at the start. It kind of deteriorates each and every lap with with all these bikes going around it in full song. So the track slows down typically near the end of the race. Carver still continues to lead the 23 bike in control. Fisher in the two spot. Third. Here comes Wild. what Wiles is looking for. Wiles goes around the outside. He takes the third spot away from Chad Coast. Coast goes back to the fourth position as they go into turn number three. Wiles goes to the high side. Chad Coast on the very bottom of the racetrack. Oh, and another rider comes on by. Meese picks up two spots going into turn number one. Jared Meese now up to the fifth position down the back straightaway. Leader already back around two laps to go for the 23 of Carver. Black's going to come out for your leader over here in turn number four already. Mee's coming up there, wants to pick up as many spots as he can before this race is over. White Black out for Jeffrey Carver. Davis Fisher. Henry Wilde. Carver in full control of this one, headed into turn number three. It's the Carver's Barbecue entry number 23, doing for Ben Evans Racing. Here he comes off of four. Also help from Mac Daddy Racing, Jeffrey Carver wins semi-final number two. Here is your rundown. 
Jeffrey Carpenter, winner on a Kawasaki. Davis Fisher finishes in the two spot, also on a Kawasaki. Henry Wiles finishes third, another Kawasaki, one, two, and three. The factory Indian, Jared Meese, comes from the back row to work his way up to fourth. He is going to the main event. Chad Coast, the California kid, also headed to the main. 61, Dustin Curl on the Harley Davidson. There's your winner, Jeffrey Carver. Crowd putting their hands together for Carver. Mikey Rush finishes in the seventh spot. Justin Jones will get the eighth spot. He's up for the seven rookie of the year. And Bronson Bauman on the Bill Warner racing Kawasaki. Bronson Bauman puts it into the main event, finishing at ninth. The riders who did not qualify include the 60 of Armstrong, 96 